The problem with EMG and nerve conduction studies is that they are notoriously inaccurate or unreliable at identifying peripheral nerve problems. Part of the problem is that often these tests are administered by techs. Sometimes the neurologists themselves will do it, but very often it's, it's sort of a tech person in the office that does it. And um, in either case, either the tech or the neurologist, they don't understand peripheral nerve anatomy well enough to often even test for certain things. So they're not even looking for some of the locations where nerves can be compressed, etc. And because of that general the, I guess the best word to use is just ignorance about peripheral nerve anatomy. A lot of times what they're testing is, is just sort of flawed in terms of looking for an exact problem. So the bottom line is EMG nerve conduction studies are, especially in the lower extremities, are really kind of useless for figuring out these complex peripheral nerve problems.